Big hair, don't care. I know it's been hot outside, but hear me out. Denim cutoff shorts with a little tank top. A distressed one like this one with hair like this. I think it's a vibe. This one comes courtesy of Eunice Hair. This is their beautiful curly wig. I went ahead and styled her for you guys. Super simple and easy, beginner friendly. This actually was my 4th of July hair. So when you see the tutorial, this is like not a throwback, but I did initially install this one a couple weeks ago for 4th of July. Um, I never came back to give you guys an intro and give you guys the tea and the finesse. So here we are. And she is absolutely gorgeous i feel like she gets better with time she's a vibe so let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial be sure you to check this one out there is a direct link down there and without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the video okay ladies let's jump right into it this is the wig on here i am fussing at the kids it is time to get out the door and nobody is moving fast enough including myself this is a look at the inside construction of the cap step one for me today is going to be just to go ahead and tint the lace on my wig cap no it's not tinting the lace i'm tinting the wig cap this is not lace what i want to do is make sure that my wig cap blends underneath my wig that way it gives like bald cap vibes without having to do the bald cap step here i am showing you guys what the wig looks like set as a center part this one is absolutely gorgeous she's 24 inches in length she's a curly lace front wig with the dimensions 13 by 4 which means you get four inches of parting space going backwards and she's 150 percent density although i have to say she was nice and full and healthy i felt like she was at least 180 to 200 but you know I'll take 150 because again she looks nice and full and honestly 250 may look like too much if this is only 150. So here I am stepping out the parting space. You guys already know the dynamic duo is my favorite way to go. I use the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb and I just give it a good good press that really good kitchen press where you kind of just do mini mini heat passes because this one is nice and full i like to kind of give it a little bit of balance to make sure that the hairline is nice and flat and it looks like it's like super straight and coming out of your scalp as well as the parting i don't want it to be too curly in the roots because to me it'll just give like sitting on your head in a way and this is where we are and i'm just going to go ahead and make sure everything is smooth and neat so we can see what we're doing at this point, I did opt to go ahead and tweeze out the hairline. Now, again, I was pressed for time. I think we were already an hour behind at this point. Already at this point, and nobody was dressed. So I was still trying to give something, something, but I wasn't trying to, you know, spend all day on this one. So I just really wanted to open up the hairline a little bit more. And you guys can see how beautiful that looks. Just a little one, two with your tweezers can make a world of difference in just customizing the wig. Even if it's already pre plucked and customized, just doing your own little customizations here and there definitely, definitely are recommended if you are comfortable doing so. Now we're going to go ahead and bond the wig down. I did use the even and one of the benefits of applying a wig with no makeup on is that I like to go in and apply that glueless adhesive directly to the lace on top. When I have my makeup on, typically for me, this just gets a little bit messy if I have like makeup all the way up to my hairline. So I typically will cut the lace first, but this way sometimes is just a little bit easier. Um, you, you apply your product and then you go ahead and work it in. Then you put the melt belt on top and let that sit while you work on the rest of your hair i did go ahead and blow dry a little bit just to get the process going because if it's super wet it may take a little bit longer and you want it to be completely dry when you remove the uh, wig band here i am just combing the hair out i think it's always great to comb the hair out especially when you tweeze out the hairline and cut the lace those two steps definitely will add or create hair loss in your unit so you want to be able to like whatever hairs you pl plucked or like whatever hairs came loose when you cut the lace you want to get those out of there so they're not just sitting there and stuck in the wig so that worked out and of course you guys seen how beautiful she looks when she's combed out i did go ahead and tame her down with this design essentials mousse now i really do like this mousse i always say nairobi is my favorite but this is a before and after and you guys can see it works very well i did the opposite side off camera and at this point honestly you can just go ahead and tint the lace and leave out i did take it a step further and go ahead and diffuse this was like when i was super 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 obsessed with diffusing hair so it was very hot this day i definitely didn't need to do this on this particular day but you guys can see it gives the height and volume and brings back you know 
basically it defines it a little bit more and dries it in a way so i love 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 the diffused look but again if you're going out in the summer heat this is one of the steps you can definitely um skip out on because again as soon as you step out the house right now while it's the middle of summertime you definitely are going to get dry hair super super quick and that the hairline is completely dry you guys can see how easy it was to install the wig i'm able to now cut off the excess lace because it is completely dry if you remove your melt belt and it's still a little bit wet just go ahead and continue to dry and you can definitely dry on a hot setting with this step now I'm going to go ahead and tint the lace. This one here is the Ruby Kiss Cream Foundation. And I'm going to use the complimentary powder along the hairline. And this is just going to give a flawless vibe. You guys already know I'm itching to go in and add some baby hair. So I'm going to add a little bit of a one-two. I honestly completed this look and I had like turned off my lights and got up and went to the bathroom. And thought I was completely done at this step. But I just wanted some baby hair. Sometimes when you get that white cast, it's not that it's white. It actually blends with my skin. But sometimes, just like with your makeup, you know how like when you do your makeup really, really good. But when you're done, you have to like add your setting spray to really like make it look like skin. That's basically what I compare that white cast to. And here I'm going to go ahead off camera and do my makeup. So I wanted to go ahead and make sure everything was dry and perfect. I was happy with the look, but again, because it's so full, um, I definitely wanted a little bit more. So I'm going to add some baby hair off camera and you'll see that in the next clip. Okay, so before we head out, I wanted to show you guys how I get my high buns. Majority of the time, I'm just in a normal frontal wig and I'm not necessarily in a 360 lace wig. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy hack on how to get your high ponytails and high buns without um, wearing a 360 lace wig with lace in the back. So step one for me is to put on a melt belt, a wig band, a scarf, or whatever you have around the hairline. That secures the wig down while you go ahead and put your hair into the bun that you like. Now to make it look more natural in the back, first of all, come out your beat of beads, which I did not do. Then I use my fingers to stretch the back and pull the hair back so that it kind of covers the the um, band and everything so you don't see the actual wig and then I'll just take some scissors or any kind of shears you have and just kind of like jaggedly cut a bunch of baby hairs in the back this is going to make sure that all of the cap in the back is covered it gives a nice natural look and then I use my camera to record the back to make sure everything is covered and now that it's covered I am completely happy and I could feel a lot more confident leaving the house without having to wear like a hairband around it voila I, did I say happy 4th of July I'm moving so fast I don't even know if I said happy 4th of July today's 4th of July I'm headed to parents house um, and I needed to install a wig because I did not want to wear the old situation that was already rocking. Eunice has some of the best packaging on the market. Inside, you guys can see their tissue paper does say Eunice on it, both pieces, which is really nice. My package was really heavy because they did include um, their pink robe, which I'm going to give away to one of you guys. They also included a, what is this? Wow, it looks like I got a pink bonnet that actually matches the robe. So I'm probably going to keep that for myself. And then we also got the goodie bag. We also got, there's so much stuff in here. A pack of wig caps, notepads. I got these um, in my last package from them. And of course they went missing because Miss Dakota Jade took over. I got a nice little hairpin and it says Eunice on it. A Eunice dust bag which does have the Eunice logo on it super nice and then I got this here which is a mirror I had one of these and I don't know what happened to it but it's like a nice it looks like leather I'm not sure if it's leather or faux leather I'm sure it's faux leather but it's really nice and you pull the slit and it's actually a mirror so this is really nice on the back it says the Eunice logo cannot be defined and then on this side it's an actual mirror and it's a really good mirror so I think I'm actually going to go ahead and transfer this to my purse and then also this is the goodie bag and you guys already have seen this a million times but I'll show it for those of you who are new inside you do get a pack of HD wig caps you do get a melt belt which says Eunice all over it um, a nice pair of HD lashes and then you also get a travel kabuki brush which I love these um, and this also of course says Eunice on it okay surprise I'm back so you guys see me do this install and this was my fourth of July hair I've worn it a million times I've washed it once and I never came back to film the intro for you guys 
or the outro or showed you what it looked like you know when i brought it together we'll do a couple minutes on the diffuser so you guys can get the vibes and then take some pictures so handy 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 dandy diffuser attachment that comes with this i'm gonna go ahead and diffuse and let's see what we get <laughs> I'm too cool for the rules, baby, get off of me Never need no push, I do it all for me Keep a couple real hitters, got them on call for me Money moving, got it in the market where it ought to be Too true for the flex, baby, don't cap to me Drop 50, bring 150 Voila, we are done with the look. I'm very proud of her. I went ahead and took some pictures for the gram. Cause she's so cute. I love it. I love a good big hair moment. Especially like even though it's hot right now. Um cut off shorts and a tank top, big hair, cute little big oversized sunglasses, and you are out the door and good to go. Especially when your hairline looks this amazing. Absolutely beautiful flawless of course you can go in and tint the lace a little bit more to like bring it home but i love her so make sure you check her out this is from eunice i have it linked in the description box you'll find all the details dimensions you know everything you need to know is down there including the products we use in the initial video as well as like um yeah everything so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches